Hello friends, today we will discuss about the classification of uh, plant kingdom. Uh, we can call it plantae, the classification of uh, kingdom plantae. So, uh, this plantae is divided into two sub kingdom. The next level is the sub kingdom level. So, it has two sub kingdom. One is cryptogamy, cryptogamy. That means these are classified as non flowering plant. The plants which are not, uh, does not bear any flower, they are classified as cryptogamy. The second classification we can take as phenerogamy, P H A phenerogamy. The under this we can see the plants of uh, flower bearing plants. These uh, are flower bearing plants. So we have divided the kingdom of plantae into two sub kingdom. Cryptogamy and Phenerogamy. So one is non-flower bearing and one is flowering plants. Now we can divide this. Uh, now we divided this into divisions. So here comes the division part. We can divide this into further divisions. In divisions, we can say first division is Thallophyta divisions. Thallophyta. The second division is Bryophyta. The third is Teridophyta. So we have now divided this into three divisions the non flowering plants Thallophyta, Bryophyta, and Teridophyta. Under this classification of Thallophyta, we can say Thallophyta covers all the algae, Bryophyta all the liverworts or you can say mosses are the examples, liverworts or mosses. These come under this Bryophyta category division and third one is ferns. Uh, this algae is uh, uh, totally aquatic type and uh, the plants coming under bryophyta uh, they they are they, they are you can say they are amphibian type amphibian amphibian plants they are the first uh, colonizer of the land so they both live in plant and water they need water to fertilize to undergo fertilization so uh, they are uh, like amphibian in the plant kingdom and third one is fern fern mostly found in shady humid conditions and cool area. So, these are three uh, type of divisions uh, we see in this uh, non flowering plants. So, uh, under this thallophyta we can further divide uh, this into you can say uh, rhodophyce, rhodophyce, these are the classes. Now, we come under the classes. The first class is Rhodophyce, you can say, say red alga come under this. Then the second class is Phacophyce. Phacophyce, second. The third comes, the second, under second comes the brown algae comes. The third is Chlorophyce. So, these are the classes under this uh, Thallophyta division. So, different type of algae are uh, uh, categorized under different classes. The same way the Bryophyta division can be divided into three, this can also be divided into three, three parts. If it's three parts, first part is, uh, first class is 
हेप्टेसी द सेकेंड क्लास इज एंथ्रोसिट्रेटी एंथ्रो सीरो एंथ्रो सीरो हेप्टासी एंड थर्ड इज मुस्की सो वी हैव डिवाइडेड द ब्रायोफाइटा इंटू थ्री क्लासेस हेप्टेसी एंथ्रोसिरोटे एंड मिस्की द सेम वे टेरिटोफाइटा कैन बी डिवाइड इंटू फोर सब क्लास सब फोर क्लासेस वी कैन डिवाइड फर्स्ट इज साइलोपसीडा सेकेंड इज लैकोपसीडा third is pino spida s p h e n o spida and the fourth is um teropsida so uh, all the this telophyta uh, three classes bryophyta three classes and teropsida has four classes the same way we have we can divide uh, this flower bearing plant into two divisions two divisions we can divide so uh, um, this uh, the two major divisions are uh, gymnosperm and angiosperm the division in the flowering plants is mainly based on the type of the covering of the seed like in gymnosperm the seed it's a seed bearing plant where the ovules are not enclosed in a ovary that means the seeds are naked not enclosed in any fruit so these are uh, naked seeds gymno means naked and plus seed in the same way uh, if we uh, consider this angiosperm angio is covered that means seed here it is covered seed is covered in the fruit so this is a broad division in angiosperm where the ovule is enclosed in a ovary hence the seed is uh, enclosed in the fruit so it's naked and it is covered and this is further divided into um, uh, if you take example of gymnosperm so you have cycas as an example of gymnosperm the same way if you take example of uh, angiosperm then you have eucalyptus plant you have wolfia this is a smallest plant and there are a lot of example in angiosperm so most of the habitat is covered under this uh, under this section eucalyptus is one of the example the same way like the way we have divided uh, uh, the uh, non flowering plants that this division also has certain classes so these class we can describe like like in uh, gymnosperm there are three classes that is uh, saccadophyta first is saccadopsida saccadopsida the second is coniferospida conifer and third is gymnopsida so we have uh, three uh, three uh, different uh, classes in um, this section of uh, angiosperm the same way we have uh, three uh, two classes in uh, in angiosperm part so three three classes in uh, gymnosperm and three two classes in um, angiosperm so one is the first part is covered by first is dicotyledon seeds having two cords second is monocotyledon so dicot and monocot so all the uh, angiosperms are covered under two two classes dicot and monocot 
Now, just uh, revising the complete thing, uh, it is very difficult to remember all the names. So, uh, we can say uh, uh, the cryptogamy has three say, division uh, Thalophyte, Brave, and Teridophyta, and it comes of three classes R, P, and C. R, P, and C. So, Rhodophyce, uh, uh, Phacophyce, and Chlorophyce. And the same way, uh, Bryophyta has uh, three classes that is Heptaceae, uh, Anthrocerose, and Musaceae. So, H A M, R P C H A M, and this one has Tetrophyta as a four subclasses. We can say uh, Silopsida, Lacosida, Spinocida, and Tetrophyta. So, uh, this uh, the, you, you can just make the abbreviations just to uh, remember all the classes and the same way in the case of gymnastome also Psychopsida, Coniferosa and Genetopsida, Dichotum and Monocot of course you can remember. So, this one of the type of classification uh, we come across uh, of the many classification which uh, the scientists have proposed. So, this is one of the kind of classification and, uh, and in the next session we will go further into all the details of all the different examples under covered under different classes and the features and uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, where the pro where the availability of that particular plant is uh, thanks thanks a lot